Hey guys, normally I do home organizing videos, but I just wanted to make one video about how I got my exclusively bottle fed baby to breastfeed. So in the beginning at the hospital, she latched, but then once we got home, she did not latch and I, she's my first baby. I didn't know what to do. So we started pumping and bottle feeding. When I registered on Amazon and I was looking for the bottles that were most like a breast that were the best for breastfed babies because that was the plan. These are the two bottles that came up a lot, the Komotomo and the Tommy Tippy. So this is what we had and this is what we were originally using. When we saw lactation for the first time, they helped me latch her and of course she latched perfectly there, but I could not replicate it at home. I didn't have the extra set of hands and getting the angle and it was just very stressful. So then we start, when we started seeing speech therapy, she looked at these bottles and said that the slope of the nipple to the, I guess the base is way too sharp. So she recommended the Dr. Brown's bottles. I think they come with a size one nipple flow, but it was way too fast. Our baby was choking. So she told us to go to the preemie size and Target has a preemie size and Amazon does online too. If you need one that's a little bit faster, they have a T size. I think it's like transitional. And so that's what we did later. I think we had continued going to lactation and they offered us a nipple shield. They gave us the Mandela one because I guess that's what the hospital is associated with. And a 20, they have 24s and 20. And of course it worked when I have help and someone is like giving me step-by-step -step instructions on what to do, but it was just, it wouldn't, she wouldn't really latch to it at home. So I tr started trying other ones. I think Target also sold a Lansino one. They also have a 24 and a 20. This one's a little bit different shape. It's, I guess, maybe cherry shaped. I'm not sure, but you can see how it's, it's more like round at the top versus these are kind of like cone shaped at the top. She hated these, did not like them. So then on Amazon, I came across these MAM nipple shields. They look different. They are kind of like more like slits, like horizontal slits. And they do have two slits in them versus these Medela ones have four. And then the Lance Knot have like four holes in them. My baby girl took it. She, I don't know if she could just like compress it and it like compressed the nipple and she could get milk out, but she would take it occasionally, not every single time. But then when we went to speech therapy, the speech therapist saw her eat from this and said that that's not proper latching or proper technique. And so I stopped using it. In hindsight, I wish I would have just stuck with it and then maybe I wouldn't have to go all through the rest of this. And then after the sixth appointment, or I think it was the sixth appointment with lactation, she suggested that we use these Hakka, or try these Hakka nipple shields. They look crazy, but this is what worked. Um, we used these for about two weeks and it helped baby girl associate me with milk and like milk comes from me. And so this is what got her back to breastfeeding. So how you use it is you kind of, you can kind of like pull it open at the top or you can kind of like compress it and then put your nipple and then it will like suction it in because it's kind of like the haka. This one, for some reason, I thought that the butterfly base was just easier to put on, like open or compress. You can buy them on Amazon or you can buy them at target.com online and they're much cheaper. I think it was like 25 on Amazon, but maybe like 15 or so at Target online. And I really couldn't find very much information about these, so that's why I wanted to make the video because I feel like this is, out of everything, this is what helped. So what I would do is I wouldn't try these Haka nipple shield while she was hungry. I would give her maybe an ounce or two so she wouldn't be starving and hangry, and then I would try. But and what I would do is, if you have like a manual pump, if you can like while you're feeding her one to two ounces to kind of like get her over the extreme hunger. If you can pump, start your let down, then take some from here and just like drip a few drops, maybe like to like the second ridge or whatever. Attach it, some will leak and that's fine. I just had like a burp cloth and then you attach it. Then when the baby sucks, it gets like instant gratification. Oh, there's milk. And then she would continue to suck 
And then when she was sucking, it was like there was more suction pulling the nipple in and then the milk started flowing. And so she did pretty good with it. Like not every single time if she got frustrated, I would just switch back to the bottle or I would try a pacifier and then try again. But overall, she always latched on. She just didn't always do like a full feed. So that I give her a little bit after. Yes, so the reason I'm making this video is I could not find any information or videos or tutorials on how to use these, but they worked. I used these for about two weeks and then we transitioned into a the Dr. Brown nipple shield, which is very strange. It's nothing like this one. And then a week later, we didn't need anything and she was just breastfeeding. Side note, Haka does have this supplemental nursing system. Say if you didn't want to use a manual pump, you could like put the milk in here, the straw goes down, and then you could attach or have like milk flowing in if like you have slow flow or just a little bit less of a milk supply, you can try that. I thought it was very difficult. I just like the coordination of like holding her, focusing on this and squeezing this, I, I, it was hard. But if you want to try, I think it's on Amazon for like 30 bucks. So that's a side note. I bought this Dr. Brown's nipple shield as a last resort because I'd used all of these. None of them worked. And then once I stopped using this ma'am one, she kind of forgot how to use it and then she wouldn't use it again. So that was a little bit frustrating. I wish I hadn't stopped it. So this Dr. Brown nipple shield, it has like 10 holes in it, like a lot more holes. These have four, this has two. And so I think that the milk would just come out quicker and it's a lot softer. Like this is like the closest like to the boob, I think, than compared to those like hard shell plastic ones, especially the nipple ones. So after about using this for two weeks, I just tried this randomly because I just got it in the mail and she talked to it and she ate. And I was shocked and so I would, from then on, just use this and have her feed with it. And occasionally, if she like fell asleep or like five minutes in, I would try to take it off and then I would try to like latch her again. And sometimes she took it and sometimes she didn't. As like the days went on, she started to take more time just without it. Like I could take it off after she like got maybe five or 10 minutes of eating in and then I could take it off and then relatch her and she would take it. And so a week later, I didn't have to use this. Like if she was like super hungry, they were angry or something, I would. Like if she got frustrated or if it was like that witching hour from three to seven, I would just use a nipple shield. But after about a week, she didn't need it. And I think it's because she learned that milk comes from me and not always the bottle. Cause I think for three months, she only knew that the milk would come from a bottle. And I think this, these just helped her associate where milk comes from. So I think these are cool. I just wanted to share that there is hope if you have a bottle fed baby and you wanna breastfeed them, there's hope. There's this like cross opening here and it closed, like naturally it's closed. But if you wanted to cut the holes, like the slit a little bit bigger, you could. Like if the baby was getting frustrated, and you thought that she wanted a faster flow. You could do that. I wouldn't cut it too far because one of these I did cut too far and then she, it wouldn't suction. So if it's like the hole's too big, it won't suction. But for some reason, I thought that this circle base didn't stay on as great as this butterfly base. I don't know if it's like the shape of your boob or what, I would just try them both. They're not too expensive. Another thing is whenever she'd start eating and it would suck a lot more of the nipple in, sometimes it would pinch. And so I would just have to like pop it off or like let a little bit of air escape and then she, she could continue on. For the time of day that you can try, I would not try that like cranky witching hour from like 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. I would try like early in the morning when your boobs are super full or like after the first nap or early afternoon, but I wouldn't really try later in the day. Something else I did is because I was so used to pumping and giving her a bottle and just knowing exactly how much she was eating when she, I stopped using the nipple shield and she was just breastfeeding. I had no idea what she, how much she was eating and that stressed me out because I was so used to like the measurement of, I've pumped this amount, I'm gonna give her this 
etc. So I got a baby scale on Amazon. I just got this one. Um, it has a kilogram button, so I would just weigh her before feed, feed her, and then weigh her. That was kind of helpful. I don't weigh her now, no, but just kind of fun to have on the side too, just to make sure she's getting weight too. Something else I heard that was super helpful, instead of like keeping it in one of these containers and losing them, or they're see-through, so they kind of like hide, um, is that you can rinse it and then put it in your bra, like in between or in the side or something, and then you always have it with you. You don't have to go chase it or go find it or have someone go find it for you because they hide. I don't know where they go. So that was something else that I learned. Another thing that the lactation consultant told us was that if she's eating and she falls asleep, just let her be and let her kind of form the positive association that being at the breast is a positive experience. It's not a stressful experience. Eating is not a stressful experience. And so I think that helped. We did do a lot of skin to skin. Maybe that helped. I don't know. We tried all the things, but that was something that I just like, if she finished eating and she fell asleep, I would just let her rest and just relax. So fast forward three months, she's six months old now and she is breastfeeding full time. And so I just wanted to pass on a hope that if your baby is exclusively bottle fed, they can learn to breastfeed if they want. I don't know, every baby's different, but it worked for us. I think having these tools, these two, really helped. And so I just wanted to share that. After we started breastfeeding, she refused to take the Dr. Brown's bottle. I think because it was, at that point, new or very different than the breast. I tried to go up the nipple size to transitional to one and she hated it. She refused it. So then I found the Land Snow bottles and she took to it and she's still taking these really great when we need her to. The shape of the nipple is really wide and so I think it helps her with the lash. It's softer. I think the chiropractor and speech therapy both said that baby girl had a lip and posterior tongue tie and they were so adamant that she had to get it fixed. So me and my husband waited and she ended up learning how to breastfeed. So I don't think in our scenario that was prohibiting her from breastfeeding. I think what prohibited her from breastfeeding is that she learned the, about the bottle and how easy it was and it just became her preference. Like when I'd offer her my boob, she wouldn't know what to do with it. So when she learned that milk came from me, she accepted it. So I know it's controversial, but I just wanted to say, if your baby has any ties, it could still be possible for them to learn to breastfeed without getting it fixed and corrected. Anyways, good luck guys. I hope you do well. Next time I'll be doing more guys and stuff. All right, thanks. Bye.